and it has been a while since I've done any reviews as you see uh, we have a really really crappy weather for the last uh, few weeks it's, it is very hot but at the same time a lot of smoke in the air uh, there's a lot of fire bur fires burning uh, in British Columbia that are getting all the way here to Alberta um, I haven't been riding too much lately since uh, we came back from uh, our trip uh, in BC I'm still processing a lot of editing to do um, I'm seeing a lot of sub new subscribers so I really appreciate it to everyone that subscribed to my channel and uh, if you didn't uh, now is the time to like my video comment uh, below share it and subscribe uh, that always helps me a lot uh, another uh, addition uh, to my motorcycle is the new uh, windscreen that I bought it's the made by GV and it's an airflow uh, screen I'm super impressed with the screen um, my previous screen was good I haven't had really much of buffering but this thing here two reasons why I went this way um, number one it has almost uh, the buffering is almost non-existent on the screen it's an amazing little screen uh, with two pieces uh, that rises up and down and another bonus when it's really hot it, uh, you can lower it all the way down or even take off the top piece and uh, you'll stay much cooler I really love that idea uh, because we were getting um, cooked when we were riding in hot weather and I didn't have much wind uh, and uh, from my previous screen also my previous screen I had it since uh, pretty much since day one when I bought my motorcycle and it was quite beat up through the tree uh, tree branches and uh, uh, you had a lot of streaks on it already so it was uh, uh, getting its uh, life to the end of its lifespan Hey guys welcome to the channel scuba travel and adventure my name is Thomas and in this video I will cover the new accessory that I have purchased which is uh, GV airflow windscreen previously I had uh, also GV you can look it up on my previous video just uh, look through my uh, playlist I also have a couple videos where I talk about all the accessories on this bike so previous one also was a GV which was a taller screen and it was getting close to the end of its life now uh, it was quite scratched up and uh, too many branches hit that thing and uh, from cleaning you get those smurges uh, that i didn't like it already when you're looking through it so it was time for to look for something new and i decided to go with the airflow why i decided to go with the airflow it's uh, one main reason it's adjustable i really love this idea so basically this uh, right now it's sitting at the lowest position so this is as far low as it gets it's perfect when you are off-road and no major wind and you want a little bit of breeze going into your face or helmet or when you crack your visor uh, it makes a world of a difference especially when it's really hot like today or any uh, of those days that we were riding out in British Columbia I had I, I, I wish I had that windscreen actually on me Anyways, and uh, the other height position, so there's actually, of course, in, uh, everything in between, but as far as it goes to the top, this is it. So you have a nice coverage. And I gotta tell you, pretty much in any position, uh, even if I have it all the way down, I have no wind buffering. Uh, the, the wind is not hitting my face and, and I got no uh, vibration on my helmet from the wind. Uh, which is really great. I hope that video is gonna be good on sound because I got a little bit of a breeze coming here And I wonder if the mic is gonna pick it up or not. But anyways, so another beautiful thing which I did not try yet uh, But uh, it's an option if you're going for a shorter ride you can completely remove it Basically you just remove that and you have a shorty screen uh, But I don't like that because that doesn't cover my camera Especially when I'm riding on rocks like this or off-road and there's guys in front of me the rocks are shooting I don't want to break my GoPro one of the reason or get the rock on my helmet uh, So that's uh, another reason 
so basically there's two clips that hold the top piece together and uh, they are uh, there's little latches in the back I'll show you that in a second but uh, you can also make adjustment here with the screw how tight is it holding that uh, that top piece uh, I want to quickly mention about the installation I see all the time everybody dropping those uh, grommets that are holding the bottom part of the mounting of the screen so the top one are no, no usually never an issue uh, they'll either if they drop they drop on the floor but in the back there's rubber so that's holding that piece even if you unscrew it completely it's not going anywhere as long as you don't pull off the rubber of the frame so basically to change your screen on the Africa Twin, this is a 2017, it's pretty similar to all of them I would guess. Uh, so you undo the top ones uh, of course, and then you just loosen up the bottom. Remember, just loosen them up. Don't take the screw out of there. You don't want to do that. You take the screw out, there's a big chance that this grommet is gonna fall down into your fairing and there it goes, half an hour to disassemble the fairings to get into that bolt. So remember, just loosen them up then you just pull it up a little bit wiggle it and move it up and down and it will come out of the mounting uh, socket where it's the grubber, rubber is uh, basically it's a compression rubber and it's squeezing the uh, the mounting the, onto the frame here so let's get this out of the way and uh, let's go back into the screen no wind buffering uh, great product i'm pretty happy with it so usually my position when I'm off-road, I just want to cover the GoPro. So I don't want to go too far, just enough to give myself a coverage. So actually that's pretty much all the way down. So simple as that. And uh, when I'm riding, I'm just going to lift it a little bit higher. Uh, maximum position, which I probably don't recommend it because you don't want to have just holding on the bottom part. So I'll just go probably here. So now the air will go over your helmet. And even uh, with this position, you get zero, but I tried it all the way here, so which is probably about halfway. I still get no buffering. Um, you get zero buffering on your helmet, so you get no wind uh, coming straight out of your face or in your neck. Uh, so that's as simple as that. It's an awesome screen. I really, really like it. It's uh, pretty wide um, and off-road. It doesn't vibrate too much. I, I had it off-road and no, not too many vibrations. I think I actually had way more vibration with my previous screen than this one here. The other one was kind of flapping. So anyways, I'll bring the camera closer here to this side to show you those latches. So right now it's in an open position, slide it up and down, and then you lock it. And they're both the same on both sides. That's how simple that is uh, to lock the screen. And it's actually locking it pretty well. It just makes sure you adjust it. Don't, don't tighten that screw too much because it's a uh, fiberglass or uh, whatever that is plastic and you will break it if you compress it uh, that and that piece is pretty solid I think it might have be even made out of metal that's what it, what it seems like that's how it locks right if you're on the market for new windscreen I really recommend this product so as always you know what to do if you like the video hit the like button always comment down below ask questions if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and share the video that always helps my channel the more subscribers i get the happier i am and uh, i'll see you in the next video where i will talk about the sw motec uh, tank bag that i upgraded uh, from my moscow moto and we'll go over all the details on that uh, tank bag again thank you for watching ride safe out there and see ya cheers